Hey guys, so today I thought I'd talk to you about embarrassing moments. The Oxford English definition of embarrassment is the act of being embarrassed. Good one, dictionary. So I've been embarrassing myself since about birth, but um, a particular story from the younger years was when I was about three, I used to give my grandma valentine stones, which I found on the beach. <laughs> This sounds romantic, but it's really not, because Valentine stones were actually dried up dog poop. Philip! First of all, what the hell is a Valentine stone? And secondly, why is this story in the plural? Why, why did my parents let this happen more than once? I don't know. But then whenever I got a girlfriend, my parents would be like, So has Philip got you a Valentine stone yet? Dad, you're so annoying! And then they would tell her the story. So if there's any potential girlfriends watching, hope we've got over that hurdle now. Yeah? So yeah, as I've grown up, these events have become more frequent and intense. So here's a couple that I haven't told you about yet. The change. So I was about 12 or 13, around the age that my voice had just started breaking, and I was at this big family barbecue with all my family and everyone that I'd ever met. It was like a massive street event. And everything was really silent when I turned to my grandma and said, Grandma, would you pass the salt, please? And everyone was still silent but kind of giggling, which wasn't so bad until my grandma said, Don't laugh at the boy, he's going through the change. The change. That made me sound like I was going through a sex change or something. Then I went bright red and tried to say something else, which of course came out squeaky as well. So what's everyone thinking of Pokemon this week? The change. And then my lovely friend told everyone at school that I was going through the change. And no one knew what that meant and everyone laughed at me for ages, and it was the worst time ever. Let's move on to number two, the mean dress. Okay, from the title, you're probably expecting some kind of Lady Gaga-style incident, which isn't actually far from the truth, but let's rewind to the beginning. Was that a convincing rewind? I, I don't think so. So I had this friend at university that was always like, oh, Philip, you have to meet all my friends. They're so spiffing. Now this was a posh meal. I was in my best shirt and I was sat next to my friend and then a really pretty girl called Hannah in a beautiful white dress. And it was one of those posh kind of steakhouse restaurants so I thought I'd impress everyone and get the ultimate steak. Anyway, conversation was going well, then my steak arrived which looked delicious. It was about this big and dripping with butter. And I was kind of nervous around all these people and Hannah was kind of flirting with me and I was just cutting into my steak like, huh, yeah. <laughs> Everything went slow motion. My entire plate of food went flying into the air most of it landed on my knee, but not the steak, no. The steak bounced off my legs, flew through the sky, and landed on the center of Hannah's dress. Why did the steak bounce off my knees? I didn't even know steaks could bounce. Oh god, oh god, there's a steak on her dress. Uh, uh, just reach into her lap and get the steak. And then she noticed and started screaming as I was grabbing around her crotch area for a piece of bloody meat. I never did see those people again. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely one of my most embarrassed. And if you're watching this, Hannah, I'm sorry about the dress. So yeah, I'm glad I got that off my chest. Please thumbs up if you've enjoyed Embarrassing Storytime and I will share some more in the future. And also comment below with your embarrassing moments so I feel slightly better about myself. Also, you probably noticed in Dan's new video, but we got a green screen. I'm in space. Realistic, huh? I'm in cats. I don't know what bats do. <laughs> yeah, I should probably think of something more exciting to use that for. In other news, I'm back from VidCon, which was awesome. Hi to anyone that I met out there. It was brilliant, though I'm now so jet-lagged. I'm waking up at 3 p.m. and I've also got about seven days to find somewhere to live, but I'm still feeling positive for some reason. Today's Draw Feel Naked is... So yes, I'm gonna go find a house and I will see you next week. Bye guys. Wow. Ooh. Hey guys! Hello there. So just a quick message while I'm editing. We're going to be on Radio 1 a lot on Monday. <laughs> yeah, like all day. Well, not all day. No. Briefly, several times mm -hmm. on Monday. Scott Mills show at one o'clock. At some point. And the Greg James show filled in by Nick Grimshaw at four. At some point. And we will be making a special announcement how you guys can get involved with something. Some secret exciting project, which yep. will be cool. But even more exciting. We are in an hour long documentary about online dating at 9 p.m. Yes, so tune in to the radio or more conveniently go to bbc.co.uk forward slash radio one at 9 p.m. on Monday for an hour of Phil and Dan's spectacularness. Links below. Yay. Ah!